What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chris with Flip the World. Hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. The halftime show was lit. Is that what the kids are saying these days? Let's get inside and make another reseller box so you guys can make some money and hopefully pay for the stuff that we find. Let's get in there. There we go, 513s, but they are. Got a nice color to them. Let me still look them up. Actually, I mean, yeah, it still comes out sometimes. We'll hold them for now. We use this at home. Don't you hate it? You see, I think you see some miss means from across the way. Which one's out there? Cello, cello, cello jeans. Never heard of it. Probably nothing. Let's see. Yeah, 12 bucks. Nope. Hard pass. I don't know if y'all heard that. But the crazy Haitians just arrived. So maybe we'll get some good footage. Super lows, 524s. Pull those. Nike zip up. Let's see. Oh, it's a Nike onesie. Zip up onesie. Yeah, that should be. Believe it or not, that'll probably be a quick sale. I'm gonna grab that. Girl made in China. She's a, she's 550s. Again, right now I'm just grabbing stuff I can look up later. This old Stratomatic baseball game. It's also a old football game. I don't know anything about them, but vintage sports. I'm at least going to grab them and go look them up. So now I definitely have to find the cart. Remington office. The, these are all jams. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, let me check that out. So this is a 1950s Remington office writer. There's only like four solds. All of them are over a hundred bucks, but it's supposed to be in a case, so that takes away some of the value. It's also extremely heavy. That takes away from the value. So realistically, you could probably sell this for uh, 65, 70 shipped. I'm gonna put it to the side for right now and make a decision on it, but this isn't something that I would put in the bins haul and with the selfie rate being low, I don't know. This is gonna have to be somebody that's like a writer and is into vintage or nostalgic typewriters, but it's a really cool item. So this 1981 Avalon Head Status Pro Football game there's only one sold in november and it was for a hundred bucks uh, it says open never played now obviously this is open and i would have to go through all of it it doesn't look like it's been played either because the scoreboards are all fresh everything looks oh yeah the cards are still in packages um just one of those things where there's 
not a lot on it. So there's one sold. Let's see how many are listed. One listed. And the one listed is for $26 plus $10 shipping. So again, it's a cool, a cool thing, but I don't realistically think that the market is there. But I could be wrong. Would you guys pass up on this? I'm about to scan the baseball one next. Let's see. These are both found together, so I imagine that the same person died and their family donated them. Every time I find something vintage like this, I always just assume that the person died and the family was like, oh, I'm not keeping this crap. Let's see what we got here. This one's all over the place, but these aren't the same ones. These say 2012, and they're selling for over 100. There we go, 51 plus 15 shipping, 49 plus 10 shipping, $100 plus 24 shipping. So this one, we'll probably end up getting both of them, but this one has more realistic, uh, this is 1991, so we'll just do that. 1991, Stratomatic. Baseball. 118, 24.99 just for the cards, 50 for the, the cards, 130, 51, 49 plus shipping, 100. So you see, we got 11 results and 11, so 100% sell through rate. So we're definitely getting the baseball one. So more than likely, we're going to get both of them just because why not? Going through all these jeans here, just seeing. We've got a pair of Levi's 550, and these are like 42 by 32. So, again, 550 and up. And usually, the larger the size, the big boy size, those are going to sell pretty well. I just got some like Lee's Platinum Petite. I'm just going to look them up. These are going to be more in your like 15 to 20 dollar range. Not really what we're looking for, even for the mystery box so we're gonna keep it moving on those these uh denizen levi's typically don't sell well i'm gonna look them up just so i can be sure these are the boyfriend cut so denizen boyfriend jeans We own 49 sold, 12.50 plus 9, 14 plus 7, 24, 19, 17 plus 8, 25, 17, 14 plus 8, 22. These might be worth getting. Let's see how many. Let me see, we got 52 sold and 95 listed, so. Should sell within 90. It's a good, good clean pair. Easy to list. Get these chains done. 505s. We got 505s. This is a like a wannabe Carhartt jacket by Brazos. Brazos. It's got the top that comes off. It's insulated. So definitely gonna look that up. So the Levo's 505, 30 by 34. There's 48 sold, and there's. 24 listed so that's over what is that 200 percent sell through rate so we'll definitely get those stacy just came and dumped all of these jeans and just without looking i can see there's a vintage tommy and i saw the carpenter pants so miss me she is crushing it so now i'm going to go look all that up but remember i found that stuff down there you got to get my love where i can these Sean John jeans, there are 13 results and there's only 11 listed, so they're over a hundred sell through rate. And these are the relaxed, tapered, and pretty much 1999 plus plus 850 shipping, 1999 plus 850 shipping, 2499 plus shipping, 31 plus shipping, 19 plus shipping, 35 plus shipping, 17 plus shipping. So that's a good one. Making our way, making our way. The meta song. Making our way downtown. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Next up, Calvin Klein. Typically with those, we've, we've sold quite a bit of those, so just make sure there's no 
Rich Terry smells or funk and keep it moving. Usually military issue stuff sells pretty well. This is a military issue army camo field jacket. I mean, you're gonna see comps anywhere from 30 to 80, just depends on the aging. This is probably not a vintage one, just based off the, the look and the feel, um, but they still sell pretty well. Let's look at these big boy Tommy Carpenter jeans out. 40 by 32. It's nice. Let's go ahead and get that now. So. Vintage, Tommy. There's 20 plus nine, there's 21 plus 12, there's 39, there's 49.88 plus shipping, 39.99 plus 17, 29.50, so again, these are, I'm thinking a little higher because these are big boy size. So realistically, probably 40 to 50 on these. So that's awesome. Again, we sell these all the time, the Miss Me jeans. These are inside out, so let's turn them, make sure there's no issues. Don't want to have a Dixon's Pixon's issue where the crotch and ass were torn out. Have the butterfly cross wings. Oh, these look in good condition. The knees need some cleaning, but other than that, that's 28 to 35. All dyke. All dyke. Seven Melissa McCarthy. I'm assuming that's the hilarious actress. Has her own jeans. So 20, 24 plus shipping, 24 plus shipping. So it's a good shot. Stacy found an awesome pair of Crocs Mary Janes. As you know, Crocs sell really well and especially ones sell really quickly. Mary Janes pre owned 35 plus 12, 25 plus 7, 24 plus 7, 25. So awesome score. And we're killed. still going. And another pair that she brought over are these fleece lined. Women's AFRC ski boots or ski boots, idiot ski pants. These are that fleece line soft shells. They're kind of all over the place, but for pre owned $59.99 plus shipping, $59.56, $75 plus shipping, $39.95. These aren't, these are actually men, so that doesn't count. $29, $44.99, 20 some of these aren't the same style. These are more the nylon. These are actually fleece lined. So another awesome, never heard of brand, but going in the cart. In that pile she brought, there was two pair of these Wrangler 20X women's jeans. They have like the nice little pocket designs. Those are about 24 to 30 each. So there's two more. Seven right there. Look at that. These are light. Jocelyn's skinny boyfriend. Well, girl, I ain't skinny or your boyfriend, so. Sorry, girl. That's a rubber Black Panther mask or latex. I'm gonna nab that for Christian. He's gonna freak out. He's always running around the house Wakanda forever. I'm like, all right, little man. Five fifty ones. Should have got a Dyson, but it's missing the. Uh, Canister. I'm sure you can sell parts, but that is not my thing. But I did find another vintage lamp. This is a desk lamp. 
see if we can maybe test it. I'm a sucker for lamps. Easiest way to tell if a lamp's vintage, other than the fact that you can tell, is the end and the plug always looks old. Animals. Truckloads of inventory coming in. And all those Gaylords are already ready. Just keep on coming. She just brought me this nautical vintage. It's got the shoulder pads, Levon. Levon uh, nautical windbreaker. These usually sell for around 35, 40. There's not gonna be a lot of sales on them, but it's definitely a cool piece. On this Pentex Zoom 105R, we sell for about $35 to $40. Just gonna make sure it works. That shouldn't be a problem. How you doing? That last Benz row, we snagged two of these Dickies insulated hooded jackets. They go for about 45 plus. They're both in great condition. Heavy like a Carhartt, but insulated. World famous Dickies brand. And then Stacy grabbed some Ariat steel toes and some Ciccones. We got some Brooks, some brown leather. Chuck Taylors, All Stars, these are really cool some Merrells. These Brooks Addiction Walkers. These shoes usually go for around you know, 35, 40 bucks. Got a lot of good tread. Gonna have to get all this grass out, but I've never seen vans like this. LX. LX V1. They're like super light. I'm gonna look them up. See what we got. Shoot, they do exist. Graph training shoe sneaker. They don't sell for much. That's weird. Ten results. Seventy listed. Sixty-four listed. Weird. I mean, there's the exact same ones for a hundred bucks, brand new. So, I don't think I'm going to trust the sole comps. I'm going to go ahead and grab these because they're like, I mean, they're missing laces, obviously. One lace, but really nice. Crazy. Stacy just brought me, of course, continuing her trend, this leather Tito's handmade vodka. It looks like a suitcase, but Crowsley on the back. That means we know what it is. It is a suitcase record player. This is definitely going to be a local sale if, if it works. The last one sold, I found one on OfferUp for, sold for 110. Of course, there's none listed on eBay. This is a, you know, it's Austin, Texas, but this is definitely, an amazing piece. I probably have friends that will buy this off of this locally. So this is a really cool piece, especially for someone that likes Tito's and also likes music. Y'all know where y'all mama at? Tiva sandals. Some leather keen. Newport 2's 
Stacy brought me these Timberland Hellcores. These are like used. I mean, these are in great condition, but I mean, used these sell for 75 plus. I'm just kind of winding down. I'm separating everything right now while she's digging. There's a cannon. Like backpack. It's got a bunch of different like attachments. Not attachments. Um, compartments for lenses and cameras and things like that. A bunch of breakdowns and then accessory areas. Uh, February 10th, $24.99 plus $10 shipping. 21 plus 1055, 20 plus 1830, 20 plus 1140, 2999. So 35 plus 21 shipping. Nice little pickup. Full cart gang coming out the pins. HPD trying to. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not joy by the bang. I can't continue. continue pretending. Got everything separated from what we're keeping versus what's going in the bins box. So I'll go over the stuff that we're gonna keep. I think it's like seven pairs of shoes, mostly the heavy stuff like the steel-toed boots. Um, five pairs of jeans, this shirt, just because this is my friend's shirt. Uh, he prints these ninth inning. Just happened to find this in the bins and I thought it was pretty funny. The Tito's record player, obviously. And then we're keeping those games and of course that heavy typewriter because that shouldn't go in the box, obviously, for weight. And this is what is going to be this video's bins haul. So it is 19 pair of jeans, men's and women's. There's everything that you saw from American Eagle. There is Melissa McCarthy, seven jeans, Sean John, lots of Levi's. There's some Miss Me's, corduroys, and some things like that. You got four jackets. This is going to be the Brazos Heavy Duty Work Utility Jacket, similar to Carhartt. There is a polo Ralph Lauren zip-up, a quarter zip-up, corduroy Nautica, and then the Army Issue camo um, field jacket. You got three backpacks. Well, one's a camera pack, and then a Jansport um like a hiking one it's not like a regular school bag and then the e what is this the ems the eastern mountain sport 2000 so a vintage hiking bag as well there's five pairs of shoes trying to keep the weight down so the price doesn't have to go up this one's going to be probably 275 300 ship because of the weight um but again lots of stuff build a bear it's um a specialty one it's like a glitter cat you know, we sell a pretty good amount of build-a-bear the pentax zoom 105r this is going to be about 35 to 40 dollars this is just a quick sell just a brand new hp 564 black these sell for 15 like 15 a day um victoria secret bra a vineyard vines t-shirt and then this is a nike alabama football jersey and then this is going to be the vintage u.s olympics shorts this is that pair of, I don't want to say it wrong, AFRC. These are ski, women's ski pants. These go for between, you know, we saw 70 bucks sometimes, uh, 55 to 55 to 80. And then this is the set of that vintage tracksuit, nautical tracksuit for women, which I think you should be able to get about. 35 to 40 dollars it is the complete suit so all in all you are looking at a total of 40 items so 40 items are going in the bins hall right around estimation again i keep it real simple jeans you should be able to get around 25 dollars shoes the shoes that we get you should be able to get at least 30 dollars and then the various things there and that the camera obviously is going to be and then the backpacks we average around 35 each so all in all i'm expecting that this haul whoever gets it and if we were listing it ourselves should gross you an estimate about 900 to a thousand dollars which is kind of our trend of trying to make a box that you can make 900 to a thousand dollars on so that is box number three hope you guys are liking this new style it really helps us get rid of inventory i mean honestly we would just list the stuff but i do like the aspect of helping other people that don't have the bins and of course we get items too and the way it's been working for us is whoever buys that box pretty much 
covers the cost of what it cost us to buy everything. So now our inventory, the stuff that we keep, is actually free. So for this entire month, all of our inventory has cost us nothing because we've sold the boxes from the hall. So I think that we might be onto something. Who knows? This takes a lot of work and I get real tired at the bins. Uh, maybe not tired is the word, maybe grumpy. Yeah, I think I get a little grumpy at the bins. I might have to start carrying Snickers in my pocket because I'm turning into Betty White sometimes. R.I.P. girl. But that's the video, that's the haul. This box is gonna be live as soon as I say go at the end. Like, share, subscribe, keep telling your friends to come watch our bin haul videos and purchase our stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one. Boxes available now. Dickhead.